This is to show how to use the Menutech USB 2.0 to HDMI with audio um, with the MacBook Pro. You can also use it with the MacBook. Um, what you do first is you install the drivers. There's a CD that comes with it. Um, you could use that, but for my version, um, I'm running version 10.6 of the operating system, so I needed to go to the Display Link website. So what I did was I went to displaylink.com and you just go to the support section and then go to display link software and choose uh, using a Mac and then you can download the latest version. After I did that I had to reboot the machine and then once I rebooted it was fairly simple. I attached the device to the USB port and then attached it to the HDMI port on my TV. And then the next thing you had to do was set up everything on the computer so that it would um, send both video and audio to the TV. So all I had to do was go into the system preferences and then go into displays and then have it detect the displays once it detected displays I could go into arrangements and choose the different types of settings I wanted. I could choose to mirror um, the displays. If you choose to mirror, then of course you get the exact same copy of what you could have on the screen. You could choose not to mirror. And then in that case, what you do is that you'll have an extended display. So will just extend the display side by side. Now the other thing that you need to do to get this to work properly is to make sure that you have the audio set up properly. So then you go into the sounds and then just select the correct audio output which in this case it's the C Media USB headphone set. And then once you do that, I mean you can just go and get everything working properly. So right now the video and audio is coming through to the TV. And so it's that simple. In just a few steps, um, you're able to get both audio and video from your MacBook to your TV without needing to have any extra cables, such as the 3.5 millimeter to the RCA. Now this is to show how to get the same Menotech USB to HDMI device with audio working on Windows 7 or practically any other um, Windows operating system that it supports. Now first thing again with this you need to install the drivers, you can use the CD or you can just go to the Display Link website and download the drivers from there. Once you've installed, it, installed the drivers and rebooted the computer um, you just plug in the device to the computer and again the HDMI cable to the TV and then um, what you would do is that you go to the um, display settings in control panel and go to screen resolution and that's where you can make all the adjustments. You can choose to um, display onto multiple monitors like this is doing 
or else you can choose to um, then go on to um, basically duplicate the screens, extend these displays. So once I select uh, extend these displays, I press apply, and then you say keep changes. And then once you've done that, as you can see, now the mouse is um, available on the TV screen. And also, you've got the extended side-by-side dis -side displays. Now, um, you can also then choose to only show the monitor for the on the laptop, or you can show to only show the monitor on the TV. Now, if you show, show only on the TV, press Apply. Then you'll see that it only shows up on the TV and then nothing shows up on the laptop.